It's all you. Knock them dead. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. Um, I was watching Molly and Olga and they did a collaboration with a kiss pour with the cloudy effect and it was so cool. It was beautiful. I really I really enjoyed both of their videos and the, the concept was really, really cool. I actually haven't ever done a kiss pour before. A kiss pour is when you have two little cups and I think either they're one has a bunch of colors and one is white and you just pour them so that the streams are literally kissing each other and come out together and it makes a really, really cool effect. So we're going to try that. Um, this is what I usually use for a 12 by 12 canvas. So we're going to Mina style it. <laughs> we're going to go with two big 16 ounce cups and we're going to do our kiss this way because this is a 24 by 36 canvas and go big or go home, right? So we're gonna try it and see what happens. I have some really cool colors that I'm actually very excited about doing this with. I'm gonna get rid of this now. Okay, actually, you know what, man? Keep my canvas clean. And I feel like it's gotta... I'm your knee. This is a wrinkle. Okay, it's all right, I have a base coat in here. All right. So, colors, Arteza Pearl Deep Brown. This is in their Pearl series, very pretty color. I've kept it on the thicker side because I don't want it to disappear and blend into everything. Uh, Liquitex Basics Cadmium Orange Hue. Um, it's a little lighter than it was in the last one. I just sort of refreshed my colors and I had a lot of that left over, so it's a little bit light, but that's okay. Americana Decor. This one, I believe, is a combination of the soft gold and the 24 karat gold. So, leaving a little bit of a mound on a mound. My pouring medium is Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish with a little bit of water and some Floetrol. This one is the DecoArt Americana Decor in Neutral Beige. And to that, I have also added some of their soft white. And I think this is the white color I'm going to use for the Kiss Pour. Um, this one I think is the, has more pearl in it. This is the pearl mixed with the soft white. So I'm going to use this one in my, well, no, I'm going to use the neutral beige in the cup and then I'm going to use the pearl as the white for the kiss pour. Um, I also have a cup of artist loft white mixed with a little bit of the soft white satin enamels that I'm going to use as my base coat, which obviously I need now. Um, this is Golden's nickel azo gold and it's a fluid acrylic from goldens so it's very thin so i have mixed it with that goldens soft gel gloss to thicken it up and give it some body then i mixed it with water and some floetrol and it's perfect leaving tiny mound on a mound um, this one is also goldens fluid acrylic in the deep turquoise which i love this color it's amazing um, and again to this one i have also added that goldens soft gel gloss to thicken it up and it just it, it works perfectly it's amazing all right so i think i got all my colors let's go ahead and start layering our cup for our kiss pour all right so this is the one i'm going to use as the white cup so for the other one that we're layering i want to have a little bit of the brown in the center and then i'm going to put in some of the neutral beige i'm going to put a little bit of the turquoise in there now actually kind of a, a lot of the turquoise. Then I'm gonna put just a touch more of the neutral beige. Then I'm gonna put some gold. Then I'm going to do the lighter orange color and the nickel azo gold. And then I'm gonna do the brown again. And then I'm going to do the neutral beige, a little bit of gold. And I'm gonna end it with a thick layer of the turquoise on top. Okay, so that's ready to go. I'm a little scared. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> they both make it look so easy. Olga makes it like, she's just like, oh, and it's beautiful. It's perfect. And Molly does a beautiful job too. They're both amazing. Oh, let me put down my base coat, I guess, before we pour that. So that's this one. And like I said, this is Artist Loft White Flow Acrylic and a little bit of the Satin Enamels in Warm White. Let's spread this out. All right. I like these OXO spatulas. They're really, really fun. 
it very easy and fast. I still do like using my hands sometimes, though. But this is good. Okay. I'm going to just... Did I use it all? No, it's right there. I'm going to pour a little bit more in the middle. Okay. Get rid of that. Um, I am also going to pour a little bit of gold in a puddle, and I'm going to pour into that. Okay. All right. Let's try this and see what happens. I'm excited. Um... I was debating on whether or not I should just use it straight from there, but you know, I think I want to do something a little different. Instead of just pure white, I want to try to put the brown and some of the gold in here also. So I'm going to put a thick layer of that in. Should we make it really interesting? And do No, I'm not going to do it as a dirty cup, Nina. Come on. I'm going to put a thick layer of brown and then some gold in there. And then another layer of the white okay so I still have enough for another cup whoo this is scary okay so the principle is we're gonna get these two streams to match all right here we go for the kiss Ooh, that's cool A lot of turquoise so far. <laughs> That's not as easy as they make it look. For sure. But that's really cool. Okay. Stop there. Well, that I'm was like trying something for the first time on camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, my gold is pretty thin. I'm just going to go around this once, even though I poured it on a puddle of gold. Now, doing that, I am hoping that this is going, the pour that I just did when I stretch and tilt it, is going to roll over this gold. And as that gold travels around, those little gold cells are going to pop up underneath the pour. So that's good. I'm going to put a, a ring of white around here, this neutral beige too, just because I have a lot of it and I want it to move easy. Okay. Now I'm going to keep some paint for in case I want to do more. All right, let's, uh, let's torch it real quick. Get, pop some of these air bubbles. So... I'm not torching the background or my base coat. I'm only torching the pour itself because if I torch my base coat, it will start to set up a lot faster than I want it to. So the longer I've done these, the more I do these straight pours, the more I realize that if you let them sit for just a minute or so, then they develop a lot nicer. So let's look at the colors that we've got going on in here now. Let's wipe this off so I can point. A lot of the turquoise in here mixed with that warm white and that's satin enamel so maybe we'll get some, I don't know if we'll get any cloudy effects because we didn't really do a ring pour I probably should have ended it in a ring pour let's see can we ooh there's the wind hi honey she cooperated with the big pour yes she did she let me play nicely with the big pour so she can have some fun okay that like that so we'll get a little bit more interest in the center now that there's those rings in there and the satin enamels is in there so that's probably enough let's uh let's tilt this pretty girl see what happens it opens up i'm gonna turn the canvas because there seems to be a lot of paint on this side Cool. Just moving it slowly. Sort of let it go around and bring.
spreading itself out as it moves. I don't really want to go off the edge. I wish I kind of hadn't over there, but that's okay. So, this is kind of cool. It's a little bit muddy because of the brown that I put in with the that white. There's enough paint on here though that I don't think I need to pour anymore. I'm just gonna stretch it down to that side just nice and slow, let it, it's dripping on my toes. So now my toes are all turquoise and green. <laughs> You're just gonna walk it down the canvas. Go nice and slow to one side and you see it start to move and then you can just gently shift the weight to the other side and kind of keep stretching everything out nice and slow I wish I had put a little bit more orange in but this is very cool I like it I like stone or pebbles this way. I'm just going to go down. Okay. So that's pretty neat. Come back to the center. sort of looking at composition. Where do I want that ring pour part? I don't want it right in the middle, but I don't want it way off to the side either. I'll take off a little bit of that mud down there at the corner. So you see how my paint's not moving very fast anymore? That means we've distributed the weight of it across the canvas evenly. So less chance of it cracking. Okay. Just sort of spreading that center bit out a bit. Figuring out what I want it to do. Open it up a little bit more. if I'd left it where it was then I would have just gotten that one corner going down instead of that whole ring pory part. Wait my paint went down too far. Could go this way. Yeah, flatten it up. So I want to get the weight of the paint evenly right here so I can stretch it out. And it's working nicely so far. Okay. So now that it's all right here, I want to push it this way a little bit and then I'm going to go that way really hard. So come back this way just a touch. And now that'll sort of flattened out. So now we've got the weight of our paint right about here and I've pushed it this way and now I'm going to go that way just a little bit to spread it out. 
and open up those rings a little bit more. stretch it this way so we get some cells up at the top edge open it up a little bit more well, I guess it flattened it out but that's all right it'll go back the other way in a second go back this way open up that top area too a little bit more I'm starting to get cells along the edges, so I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna torch it one more time. I think it's pretty though. It's uh, that turquoise is gorgeous, and I'm hoping maybe that brown will deepen a little bit. Maybe not though. Even if it doesn't, it's nice. It's kind of a masculine piece, which is cool. But there's also a very soft side to it. You're getting a lot of these pebbly sort of rocks and cells from the straight pour aspect of it. But that was really fun. I enjoyed that. I don't know why I was scared of it before. Let's torch it real quick. Because I just got paint all over my nose. Okay. Is he just popping air bubbles? I do want to encourage any cells on the sides to come up because I like those. I think they're really cute. to have touched it right here so I'm just going to put a tiny bit of paint right there eh, that's not good I should stop all right I do want to just kind of pull this this way once to get some cells going up there on the top edge have this move down a little bit not too much just to open it up a little bit and you see, as I'm going up and down, that sort of controls the speed of how fast the paint is moving on there. I like that. Okay, I'm going to stop there, because I think that's cool. I'm excited to see if it sells up any more along the edges. Not these big, huge, rock-looking cells, which is a little bit too much for me inside, but I love these little ones. Like over here, they're really, really cute. I don't know if you can see them from there, but I'll bring you in for a close-up and show you guys. Right up here, this top corner. Look how pretty they are. And this is stretching them out, so. And this is stretching that center part out too, because there is satin enamels in here, so it is gonna, the more you move it back and forth, the more it sort of activates the satin enamels and gives you a little bit more of the cloudy effect. So we are done with this. I guess we're gonna call this one Mina's Big Kiss. <laughs> I'll bring you guys down in for a close-up and uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Please subscribe. It, uh, it helps a lot and I appreciate it very, very much. And, you know, I realize, oh, I didn't think of that. And so it's not a big deal, but I appreciate it if you would. It's, um, and also you share. If you could share the videos, that would be awesome. So um, if you want to see more of my stuff, you can go look at Mina Villegas Art on Facebook. Um, I am working to get more of my inventory up there. Uh, you can also send me an email at Mina, no, Mina at MinaVillegasArt.com. So, that was cool. This was fun. Thank you to Olga and Molly. Uh, I will put links to their collab down in my description. And you should check out their pour because they were very, very pretty. It didn't, mine didn't turn out anything like theirs did. But I think this is really neat and I like the idea of, making it bigger and using the 16 ounce cups instead of the five ounce cups and doing a 24 by 36. So I think this was really cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, so this is the next morning. This is mostly the dry. There's just a little tiny bit in the center that's a little bit wet. I really like how this came out. I think it's really beautiful. There's some really pretty soft parts in here. I love this edge where these like layers you see all that gold and some of the brown and then there's like this beautiful soft light green color 
these from the, the gold mixing with the turquoise. There was a lot of satin enamels in here, so we did get some really cool little cloudy bits. I like it. I like this one a lot, actually. kind of has a masculine vibe for me. I guess maybe it's the color palette, the turquoise and the brown and that cream color. Very pretty. I was trying to figure out which way was up, but it actually works both directions. I think I like it better this way, though. Anyway, I had a lot of fun doing this one. My big kiss pour with my 16-ounce cups. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you to Molly and to Olga for their videos and the inspiration. This one was a lot of fun. I had a lot of a lot of fun doing this. <laughs> Very cool. I like that part a lot. Neat. So, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.